nearsight or myopia, myopia is the medical term for nearsight, is when you have an ability to only see near, you can see only a short distance, so therefore we say short sight or, or we say nearsight. Uh, there are two general theories behind that. One is that it's genetic, it is your grandparents or it passed down from your family members. Uh, the other one is that it is uh, overuse of the eyes. So the genetic theory does not really stand up because we have studies from the 60s, for example, with a whole group of, of uh, Eskimos, a whole community of Eskimos. And among Eskimos, uh, it is definitely proven that it does not pass on from parents to children or from grandparents to parents to children. Uh, none of them, none of the grandparents in the study had any vision problems whatsoever. The children had 45% of them showed nearsight. So this kind of explains that, doesn't it? The second thing is uh, that you're overusing your eyes. That's because you're looking at your computer, your iPad, and so forth. The vision is functional. So it, the function of your eyes is to hold your vision on the computer. And you do this for, what, hours? days, weeks, months. So you continue focusing on that particular distance and therefore your system will adapt to that. The function, what you do, influences the structure. This is a, a general uh, formula that is applying to anything with the human body and including the eyes. So therefore, we can undo that with vision training because you basically learn to see near and we can unlearn that as well and that's what we're going to do. We think of near sight as two different categories. A mild nearsight, that's when you can see to arm's length or more. Uh, that means that you have less than two diopters, one and a half, 1.75 or something like that. You, you don't need glasses for reading. Don't, don't use the glasses for reading if you, do, if you have this because it makes your vision worse. Uh, the other is when you have the ability to see only somewhere with, you know, shorter than arm's length. Then you have higher degree, two, three, four, or whatever. So then you have to uh, do the exercises and you have to reduce your, the power of your lenses. The prescription needs to be reduced by half a day up to one day up to depending on how fast you go. So then you have to step down like from three to two and a half to two, one and a half to one and then nothing. And the exercises are very simple. There's one exercise you need to do for the mile and then you need to do several, ex you need to do two parts for the, for the higher degree. You need to do the higher degree and then the mile on top of that or after that.